the fact that you got to go to the washroom and wash it off your hands because I can smell it. That you got to put cologne on. I don't have to put cologne on. I don't have to cover anything up. You do. That's one less question I have to ask myself every day. I already got enough questions to ask, dude. There's, this, this planet's already overly competitive, right? Like, it's already hard, and then you just made it harder on yourself. What's good, y'all? Hey, Zo, back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there. So today I'm coming at y'all with a quick reaction video. We got Grant Cardone. Um, it's two short videos we're going to check out. Uh, I guess he getting interviewed about what he thinks about smoking gas, smoking weed, and everything. So we're going to see what he got to say. Obviously, this is a rich, successful guy. And I like hearing their thoughts and experience on smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I can learn from it. Maybe y'all can learn from it too. Um, instead of hearing from people who don't got much going on, telling us like, ain't nothing wrong with weed, bro. You can smoke weed as much as you want. You know what I'm saying? Let's hear from somebody who's actually rich and successful. You know what I'm saying? Living their life to the fullest from what we can see. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's get right into it. I ain't finna hold y'all no much longer. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Like this video. Get this video out in the algorithm. <clears throat> and yeah, let's get right into it, y'all. Give me more $10 million in the next five years. Personal question, if you don't yeah, mind yeah, me asking. Yeah. I smoke weed too, but sometimes yeah, I feel, yeah. feel like it helps me on the phone with sales. You don't have it. Really? So you think I should put that all together? Dude, dude me and you? I, I have a G pen. I smoke it from Yeah, time me and you go into a deal, and you're smoking weed, and I'm not, dude. I'm dead, dude. I'll kill you. Because I have so much certainty, man. You know? And, and, and you know, you know you're know, you driving a car at 70 miles an hour, and you smoke some weed, tell me you're not going slower in the next 10 minutes. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Because you're not certain, dude. Not certain. I'm still going 80. <laughs> I'll go 100. <laughs> okay. So the fact that you asked the question means you're, you, you, you. Well, because you said. I think that's true, bro. About the smoking weed being, making you uncertain. Because I remember sometimes back in the past, like, <clears throat> bro, I don't know what's in my throat paused. But no, like, I remember, like, before I started smoking weed, bro, if I, like, chill with a girl, bro, like, I wouldn't overthink nothing. I'd just be like, What's the, what's the word? Decisive. You know what I'm saying? I just act on whatever I think, right? But like sometimes in the past when I was smoking weed and I chill with a girl, I was overthinking like, should I do it? Should I go for it? Should I not? Like it would cause me to be uncertain. So I get what he's saying right there about, you know what I'm saying? Him not smoking, how certain he is. And if dude was chiefing or whatever, he would be more uncertain. I think that's true, bro. Weed definitely can make you more uncertain. You said in your audio book, sell or be sold. And, 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 and about it. <laughs> I'll go 100. Okay. So the fact that you asked the question means you're, you, you, you. Well, because you said in the audio book, sell or be sold. And, 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 and it, about hits you, it hits you. You're like, yeah, okay. Yeah, but I never well, made I wonder, the jump. I wonder, I wonder, if you're wondering, dude, it's taking attention. You don't want any attention. All your attention doesn't need to be on the weed you spoke. You need what your mama said. Yeah. Or where you know. Yeah. Dude, you take over making $2 million in here. Fuck yeah. Bro, I didn't notice somebody else's video, <laughs> but it was an interview video. Oh, he said that? Hold on. I don't know if y'all can hear this. You know, weed's not the worst thing in the, world, in the world. We all know that. You know, it's not like crack, crystal meth. Um, you can still smoke weed and on a regular basis and still achieve success. You know, I did that. A lot of people did it. Just like that young man in the video. You know, earlier in the video, he talked about it. He was making almost two hundred thousand. Video job here, low. Being a regular mic down. Yeah, and you can still achieve success making uh, you know, smoking weed every single day. However, if you if if you want to get if you want to reach your full potential in life. Then you're gonna have to let go of bad habits, of anchors that are weighing you down. Uh, and it's That's true. And um, <clears throat> only, <clears throat> bro, pause, bro. What is in my throat? <laughs> but nah, um, only you know what's the anchors in your life holding you down. So for me, like I said, like y'all know, it was weird for me. But maybe it is for you. Maybe it's not only you would know. You know what I'm saying? Can nobody else tell you what's holding you back? Only you know internally what's going through your mind, like. Maybe I should cut back or maybe I should stop doing this and see where that goes with my life, where my life can go. Only you know, for real, for real. It might be a relationship, might be weed, you know what I'm saying? It could be anything. Only you know what the angles are in your life that could be holding you back, you know? All right, I ain't about to watch this whole video. Um, we got a second video we about to go ahead and get into. Uh, Grant Cardone in a more professional interview style video talking about smoking weed. Let's see what he say. People, a few questions. Yeah, sure. I'm sure. ask you if you can make a phone call to that 20-year-old Grant. 
yeah. and give that young man a bit of advice. I guess he's right in the middle of it. Now, I always say yeah. 20. I'm not picking that yeah. to you, but I mean, I guess you're in the addiction. Older brother just died. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That kid can't, he can't hear anything. So I'm going to save that call. <laughs> he said that kid can't hear anything. I'm gonna say that call. You pound him on the, uh, you pound him over the forehead. Won't matter. He's got to hit bottom on his own. Yeah, I mean he's just got some time. He's gonna have to work the deal out. Yeah. You see I like mean, if that? I told him anything, it would be like, dude, I'm so disappointed in you. I'd fucking hammer him with that. Yeah. Be like, so disappointed in you. You know, what a fucking shame. What would y'all tell y'all twenty year old self, man? Comment down below. If I could talk to my twenty year old self, like real quickly, like only had two minutes to talk to him, I wouldn't tell him to stop smoking weed because, like Grant just said, bro, my 20-year-old my self, I'm not trying to hear that either. Like, that's the prime, prime days. I'm chilling with my homies every single day, rolling up, laughing, good music. Like, it's no way my, my younger self would even listen to that, bro. But, yeah, I would probably tell my 20-year-old self, start a YouTube channel now. That's all, bro. You could continue smoking if you want, but start that YouTube channel now, bro. I don't care if you don't call it duty because that's what I was into at that time. Um, but yeah, I would just tell him like start posting videos now. You know what I'm saying? Here I am, 29 years late, 29 years old. If I'd have started when I'm 20, bro, it'd be way different for sure. But that's what I would tell myself. What would y'all tell y'all 20 year old self? And do you even think a 20 year old self would even hear you out? I know my 20 year old self wouldn't hear me out about smoking gas, quitting gas. But the YouTube, it might, it might, it might have hit me if it's at the right moment. It might have hit me, but at the same time, I was more focused on girls and just having fun rather than future. You know what I'm saying? Building blocks. You know what I'm saying? I would definitely not think about that type of stuff, bro. Short term thinking at that time. You really need just a. Yeah, you should be discussing with your. You know, go use some more drugs. Why is this drunk so low? Go for it, bro. Why are you taking so long? You see people like that now? Ever? And you're just like... Well, people don't talk to me, but I mean, I, the most I'm gonna try I to turn the audio up. right now is, hey man, I'm smoking weed, do you think that's a problem? So people, they're not really, you know... And you say, yeah, because it's gonna go get worse. No, no, I say, yeah, dude, it's a problem. Because if you compete with me, and you're smoking weed, and I'm not, I'm gonna fucking kill you, dude. In every deal, I'll kill you. Well, how do you know that, man? It makes me creative. Well, the fact that you have to take the time to go smoke the weed, I already had to fucking jump on you. Okay, the fact that you're asking means you're in doubt. I don't ask that question. The fact that you gotta go to the washroom and wash it off your hands, because I can smell it. That you gotta put cologne on. I don't have to put cologne on. I don't have to cover anything up. You do. That's one less question I have to ask myself every day. No, nah, just facts. <laughs> I remember just working nine to fives before I go into work, I gotta see like, do my eyes look red or should I spray some? All these thought, thoughts I'm contemplating before I go inside that jump. But if I was just sober working in that jump, I'd just get out the car, walk in, you know what I'm saying? But but to me that want to smoke, you know what I'm saying? Before work, uh, I gotta make sure I smell good, make sure my hands don't smell like smoke, make sure my eyes don't look red, make sure I just look like I'm not smack, you know what I'm saying? So it definitely causes a lot of contemplation, especially when you're a teenager, you really start thinking about you know what I'm saying? Covering up the smell and making sure your hair don't smell like it. You just think about a bunch of stuff that you could avoid if you wasn't even smoking. That's facts, man. All that contemplating about making sure nobody knows. It causes a lot of overthinking, for sure. I already got enough questions to ask, dude. There's, this, this planet's already overly competitive, right? Like, it's already hard, and then you just made it harder on yourself. The fact that you were driving, I'm, I'm at 80 clicks, I'm 80 kilometers per hour. And you're driving 80, and you smoke a little of the cushy kush, right? And the next thing you know, you're going 47 kilometers, and you don't even know it. I'm still going 80, bro. So you use the same analogy. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No copyright. <laughs> but it's probably copyright anyway. Anyways, though. Um, yeah, I guess what he's explaining is smoking weed causes you to overthink about stuff you could avoid if you wasn't even smoking and also he was saying if you even got them thoughts that you should stop or take a break or quit whatever the case then yeah that's already <clears throat> a thought that's slowing you down in general you know what i'm saying just having a thought having to think should i quit that's already a thought that you could avoid if you wasn't doing it so 
I guess that's his experience. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was funny thinking about the twenty year old self thinks my twenty year old self wouldn't hurt me out about stopping smoking weed. But if I could tell my twenty year old self one thing, it would definitely be to start a YouTube channel or start streaming too. Like, where if I'd have started nine years ago, it'd have been crazy. But yeah, comment your thoughts on this video. Um, like this video, share this video, subscribe if you're new. Check out the other reaction videos. I'll leave a link down below in the playlist. And yeah, I'm gonna holler on this one, man. Peace out. That's the possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if, even if they look lost forever.